A new era of leadership at the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is providing an opportunity for a fresh start with the Latino community. But as Patricio Espinoza reports, many are still unhappy and are expressing their views at a series of community meetings with MCSO. Patricio? Yes, in the past, court-mandated community meetings were managed by what's called a community advisory board and a court-appointed monitor. Now, a judge has given the new sheriff, Pinzon, permission to lead the effort. More than 300 people showed up to the first meeting under MCSO guidance, and the feedback was loud and clear. Seven years of racism, persecution, hate, intolerance. Now is the time it should change under the new sheriff. Sheriff Penzone wasn't there to hear the concerns firsthand, but told Cronkite News he knows there's work to be done. And I recognize that there is one you know, particular group that was, um, I'll just say it, that was, was mistreated by my predecessor. And I'm very sensitive to that issue. And there is one thing Raul Pina, a court-ordered community advisory board member, says the Latino community wants to have MCSO stop working with immigration authorities. Well, I would ask uh, the sheriff to really look into the, the, the faces of the families uh, and the children that are being impacted by the mass deportation force and say, you know, do you really want to be associated with that? Sheriff Penzone has already made changes. His department is no longer practicing what was called courtesy holds. It was deemed to be a violation of the Fourth Amendment, so I immediately stopped that practice. But those at the meeting insist that's not enough, because federal agents remain in the county jails, able to interview, detain, and deport detainees. We're also sensitive to the people in the community that are being impacted directly, uh, their families are being separated, uh, and then we're going to continue to say, you can terminate this arrangement today, and you refuse to do that. Are you legally bounded to have the ICE? No, there's not a legal requirement, but so you I... could say no today if you wanted to. I could, but I choose not to, and I choose not to, and I hope that, you know, that this is in totality, the statement, because there are people who have committed crimes who may be here um, unlawfully, and if another agency, law enforcement agency, has an interest in engaging them in a safe environment prior to them being released out to the street, I'm going to grant that opportunity. And the next community meeting is coming up next month where some Latino community activists say communication needs to be improved even sooner. They're asking for more Spanish language outreach and a professional translator at each meeting. In the Broska Center, Patricio Espinosa, Cronkite News.